Hello everyone. I believe I am being tested so much in the area of patience. So much. Like some situations that happens to me these days, it's like, really? Like, let's say there is a bully and that bully is trying or is doing things to try to irritate you so much. In a sense, and I am not saying it is on a high level, but in a sense, what is happening to me is something like that. Like, it seems like someone or something not on a high level, like as if something is pressing my buttons. <laughs> Or if, or as if I am being tested in the area of patience. Like, I do some things for people. And even with that, <laughs> it seems like, it's like I am being tested with my patience. L let me say this too. If if I call you and ask you to pick me up or to take me somewhere, which is the same thing, I guess. Now, if you are going to drive me somewhere, and I am asking you to pick me up at a certain time, shouldn't I be on time? Right? Like, would I have you waiting five minutes, 10 minutes, or whatever else like that? Like, I can see if it happens every now and then. But if I do it continually, like constantly late, like what is that? Like, are you, like, I think you would begin thinking like, what is wrong with Kevin? Like, why is he constantly late when he wants me to pick him up? Like, isn't that inconsiderate or, I guess, somewhat rude? I believe my patience is being tested. Also, too, usually... I'm not saying my discernment is 100%, but much of the time, my discernment is okay. But <clears throat> like I have been finding myself to be wrong more often which is so strange. Like, what is going on? Maybe God is trying to stretch me. Maybe God is trying to humble me. Maybe I am being placed in the fire to be purified more, maybe so. Because some things that have been happening to me, like, 
what is that expression like one in a hundred like when stuff begins to happen back to back back to back back to back back to back i don't think that is a coincidence is it i don't think so and i have been learning while I am being tested, which I do believe I am being tested, I have been learning to close my mouth, especially while I have been wrong more often these days. Close my mouth. You know, take what I perceive to be a wrong toward me. Just take it and close my mouth. Just do what is right. Pray about it, I guess, and close my mouth. Because I don't want to continue reacting and continue being wrong. Like, how bad is that? Reacting in a certain way and continuing to be wrong. I have no idea what is wrong with my discernment now. Maybe it is something wrong with me. <clears throat> Who knows? <sighs> Probably I need more patience. Like I believe my patience in times past have been tested so much, but maybe <clears throat> my patients need to go so much further. Probably this is one of the reasons why this stuff is happening to me now. So I may be going through some inconveniences but I believe it is good I am going through these things because if I, I assume, if I do what is right and get through these, I guess I can say minor bumps in the road, I think I will become a better person from it, right? I think so. So please pray for me. Like, <laughs> sometimes it feels like someone is trying to like, or is pressing my button so much like trying to make me angry. Like things that probably wouldn't happen so often or hardly at all. It seems like back to back, back to back, back to back stuff is happening. Like what is going on? What is really going on? I believe I teach about problems and being tested and stuff like that. And hey, I guess I am going through it. So, hey, I go through things as well. I believe if you are trying to live for Jesus Christ, I believe you are going to go through things as well, right?
But I can say this too. Good things have been happening to me also. So, inconveniences, <laughs> along with, I would say, bad dreams too. But good things are happening to me as well. So, the good and the bad are happening. So why should I pay more attention to the bad when there is good? Like, as it seems, back to back stuff. And also, not only that, I believe I am blessed. I truly believe I am blessed. Like, it seems like I have to pay for this, pay for that, send money over here, and like, what is going on? It's like <laughs> something new pops up. <laughs> This good thing is right here and boop, like something, not so much bad, but like a bill or this and that and I have to do this and that and maybe if I had hair, maybe I would, you know, pull it. <laughs> oh, well, I guess we have to. Stay positive, right? So please, please, please pray for Uncle Kev. That's me. Because you may see me and think to yourself, that is Kevin over there. Kevin is doing okay. Kevin is all right. Kevin has a very easy Christian life. Like he has no, no problems. Not so. Not so. I think it is, maybe it is not. I don't know. I think maybe it is a good thing. I don't really remember much of my dreams. Because... Not only I go through things while I am awake, I believe I get bad dreams as well. So it's like when I am awake, certain stuff is happening. Sometimes I would say, and when I am asleep, I have some bad dreams as well. Like I'm getting hit, I guess, <laughs> when I am awake sometimes. And sometimes when I am asleep, I am being hit too, if you know what I mean by hit. So I guess that is life. Yes, I pray. Some people may say, Kevin, you need to pray and, and read your Bible, which I do. But I guess as a Christian, we may have to go through some things. And I have been trying to keep positive. Sometimes I may speak to someone and tell that person what is going on but I believe I really do need prayer seriously you may be going through something similar to me like back to back stuff back to back back to back back to back maybe you have to go through some things with another person. 
Maybe you are helping someone else. Maybe that person is constantly going through stuff. The thing about it, if you are constantly going through problems, never give up on Jesus Christ. Never become so discouraged to where you begin thinking that living without Jesus Christ is more beneficial for you. Am I saying that right? Maybe I am not. Never begin thinking that it is more beneficial for you to not live for Jesus Christ. I think I am saying that right. <laughs> I think problems will always come. But is that an excuse to not live for Jesus Christ? I think not. No matter what happens to you, continue looking forward. Don't look back and drown yourself in self-pity and whining and constantly complaining and constantly staying depressed. I could be depressed, but I have learned no matter what is happening to me, don't dwell on my problems. Like don't stay stuck mentally, I guess, or emotionally in my problems. Continue looking forward. Try to keep my mind on the things of God and try to stay positive. Right? Like, how is it going to help me by thinking about my problems so much? For instance, let's say these things are true for me. My mom died. I lost my money. I am so sick all the time. My parents abandoned me. I can't have kids. I am not married. You know, like why dwell upon issues? Why think so much about problems? And you may say to me, Kevin, I don't try to think about them. They just come to my mind. Okay. No matter how many times they come, push them out. I think so much thoughts of what some people have done to me. How can I say this? I think so much I think so much, hmm, I think kind of often thoughts about the wrong some people have done to me comes to my mind every so often. Sometimes I think it is often like some things of the past. Like, why am I thinking about something that happened to me when I was 21 or was it 18? Maybe 18 or at this age or that age. Like, why? Why am I having those thoughts? Why am I having those thoughts about my brother or 
my dad or this person or that person or whomever. Like, why am I having thoughts about the wrong some people have done to me? Like, why are those thoughts, as it seems like, coming to me more often than the good some people have done to me? Why? Why am I continuing to have thoughts about that one guy that did me wrong, that hurt me? Why am I having so much of those thoughts more than the good that is happening to me now, I believe? Why? I believe demons are trying to push those thoughts into my mind. We have to resist, right? I hope all of this makes sense. Let me stop here. God bless you.